Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to take a look at MAP, Modern Animated Percussion. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with more videos just like this. So here is MAP, Modern Animated Percussion. This is a contact instrument. And we have multiple presets that each have four different layers here. So you can trigger the entire preset, all of the layers, by clicking this button here, the C. You can also isolate each layer by clicking the different keys here. That'll just be layer one. There's layer two. Layer three. And layer four there. Of course, you can also just click and program these into your sequencer. And they will loop just like that. You hear there are some effects going on. Each preset is going to have four separate layers, each with their own predetermined effects based on, you know, the sound you want to achieve, which is all tagged here in the instrument browser. So we have these different tags you can click and it will show you only those presets. Now, where things get more interesting is, for instance, you can take a preset and then go in and swap out sound sources for each layer as well as effects. You can also go in and sh completely change uh, the sequence. Going in just like this, you can make it uh, 16th notes, whole notes, stuff like that. Go in and change everything and also add different effects to every single Part of it. So here is the effects. Uh, there's compressor, tape saturation, EQ. You can select from these different ones, rearrange them here, and enable and disable them just like that. So they will go on whatever step that you click here. And down here is also the velocity of the notes. So we can quiet this down a bit just by clicking that. And remember, this is only for layer one. So we'll hit this one here. So let's turn off the delay here, reverb, get a different sound. You hear now it's very dry. You can also turn off the sequencer entirely and use it as a one shot. Just like that. So now that you know how it works, let's go in and check out some of the presets and hear some of the sounds and maybe mess around a little bit with the sequencers and effects.
So in that instance, I simply took one preset and simply swapped out all of the different layers there. You heard me kind of doing it on the fly, either clicking this and hitting the browser or just hitting the arrow buttons there. And you can completely change the sound. Um, so there's a ton of versatility, flexibility. It's a very deep instrument. That's really what I wanted to show. Um, while you can start with a preset like I did, you can completely alter the sound of it. If you don't like the effects, the delay, um, you can make it more organic. If you think it's too loud, you can simply go into the sequencer and lower the velocity of the notes. You can apply different effects to each step. There is a ton of stuff you can do here. It's very, very powerful. So that was just a quick look at what you can expect from it. Obviously, it's a loop-based percussion instrument, uh, but there's also bass lines and electronic sounds and more organic sounds. There's a ton of stuff here, and you can get a good idea for everything just by clicking the browser and, you know, just scrolling through and listening to some presets or watching the uh, preset uh, video that is also available. So that was just a quick look, how to use map, how you can, you know, go in and change the different layers and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and I will see you next time.